Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. This is your TLDR. Add immersive audio experiences to your virtual reality apps with spatial audio, now available in the cardboard SDKs for Unity and Android. Learn how you can use Google Sign-In with your server in this post by Lawrence Moroni, the third in a series about using Google Sign-In on Android. You can now generate and distribute promo codes to current and new users on Google Play to drive engagement with your app. Use them to reward loyal users, encourage app reviews, and attract new customers. There's a brand new set of Android development patterns coming soon. The goal of the series is to highlight the fundamental co components and best practices that can make the biggest difference in your app. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Learn where your game players get stuck, what virtual goods they buy, or how to tailor the game for both casual and hardcore players by using Google's web scale analytics services. This post shows you how. We're not just videos. Check out all the helpful written content on the Google Developers Medium publication written by engineers for engineers. That's you. Enroll in NanoDegree Plus, and Udacity will guarantee you'll get hired within six months of graduating, or they'll refund 100% of your tuition. What are you waiting for? It's time to start that career today. And you know what? Sebastian Thrun and Peter Lubbers are in the other room right now doing a Twitter Q&A. Do you want to crash it? I know I do. So right now we're having our first hashtag dev training Twitter chat. I let everyone know that they can jump in, they can ask questions. Okay. So now I'm going to put in question one. Technology is a global opportunity. What does this mean for potential developers? Well, Sebastian, I actually have a question for you around this um, because uh, you started Udacity as as a passion to change yes. how people learn. And as an accident, I should say, it wasn't really planned to start it. We just put a class online that uh, collected 160,000 students, and then it decided, well, that's quite amazing. Like we had a soldier in Afghanistan who overnight tried to take classes, or a mother who was raising two children and was desperate about getting some sort of self-accomplishment. Yeah. And seeing those people uh, and comparing them to my Stanford students, my Stanford students don't need me as much as some of these people in the world. My name is Martin. My name is Fabia. I always wanted to do the degree, but I could not afford moving out of uh, my home city. I decided to change paths and become a programmer. I've been learning online for as long as I can remember. Okay, next question. There's so much momentum around ed tech right now. Why is this movement such a big deal? I think as the nano degree matures and as we are placing more and more people in jobs, I think people, students will ask the question, should I pay 300 bucks a month and, um, and get a job or should I pay 3000 bucks a month and get no job? So in Silicon Valley, what really matters is what can you do. So if you have a fantastic portfolio, for example, that you build at Udacity and, and Google, that might be synonymous with a good college degree. In fact, I know startup companies who just pay zero attention to the college and 100% to the work you've done in the past. All right, is there anything else that you want to say to our developer audience about Udacity or your favorite thing in the world? What is your favorite thing I, in the world? I love you guys and the developer <laughs> community so much. You guys are forward-looking. You uh, understand where the future is going. You're part of the fastest growing technology in the universe ever, which is called Android. And um, keep it up. Uh, stay, keep learning. Stay humble and hungry. Thanks, Sebastian. Well, that was fun. Have a question for somebody hanging out at the Googleplex? Let us know in the comments or with the hashtag AskDevShow. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more of The Developer Show every week. I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is DevLife. Hey, Wayne, could you push that branch to the GitHub repository so I can test it? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll take care of it. Great. <laughs> network's down. Cannot resolve host. Oh, man, the network cable's broken. Now I gotta go buy another cable. Okay, Google. Get directions to the nearest electronics store. What? Something went wrong. No network. Ugh! No battery now. Ugh! Oh, I don't need the map. I'll be fine. Oh. Oh. Hey, Wayne! Did you push those commits yet? What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs>